Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel once again. So today I will not be using the Devil Forge furnace that I typically use. I'm gonna be using this two auto tabletop melting furnace that was shipped to me. And I've never used one of these before and I've always wanted to, so I'm super excited to try this out. But I wanted to show you what it all came with. So you have the melting furnace itself. It came with a three kilogram crucible, a one kilogram crucible, obviously the power cord, tongs, safety gloves, a manual, and this little mold right here. Now, I probably won't be using this mold. I'm gonna be using one of my own because this is just small and I'd rather do some coins or something else fun. So, yeah. So let's get started on this. Let's find something to melt and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I found this scrap copper wire. So this is what I'm gonna be melting. However, I'm obviously not gonna do it right here on my table. I'm actually gonna take this outside where it's safe just to make sure nothing gets spilled and I don't cause a fire and burn my house down. So let's take this outside and let's get set up and let's get melting.
All right, everybody, so there you have it. That was melting these coins with the two auto SY0002 model. It heats up to 1100 degrees Celsius. It's easy to use. It did take a while for this to heat up. It took about probably 45 minutes to get all the way up to temperature in order to melt the copper. So it does take quite some time, but if you're not in a hurry and it doesn't really matter, it's nice and it works great. I did wish it would get a little bit hotter, but overall it worked. So that's a plus. As you can see, came out just fine. This one I did not polish. I just put it in the tumbler along with the Scorpion and just tumbled it for about two hours and that's how it came out. So there was really no polishing needed. The one thing I do like about this is the PID controller. It's very simple to use. It's only four buttons. All you gotta do is push left, right, set the temperature up or down to what you want it set at. There you go, it's simple. It did come with a user manual on how to use it in case you need to change the, the element coil and just basic functions on how it works, the temperatures and all the stats. So it's not, I mean, you really don't need the instructions at all. It's pretty straightforward and simple to use. Just flip the power button, turn it on, put the crucible in, put in the metal, close it up and wait. So overall, I would definitely recommend using this, especially for beginners. If you've never melted before and you're not used to it and you wanna start out something simple, I definitely recommend picking up one of these as a beginner just because it's very simple to use. And if you don't have a lot of scrap metal to melt, this might be the way to go. It's only a couple hundred dollars and it works just fine. Well guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, give a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the bell, get notified of all the new videos that come out each week. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.